Right now, there are dozens of babies being nursed to health on the second floor of USA Children's and Women's Hospital. It's a nonstop job with one goal, to save as many babies as possible. News 5's Chad Petrie has a special look at the tiny miracles they work every day. This is the most well-known scene from the neonatal intensive care unit. Cullen Potter, brought here the size of a Coke can, graduating from the NICU. Children's and Women's has medical care only a handful of hospitals nationwide can provide for babies. For the extremely premature, it can be hard to find the care they need. So I had to call 16 different hospitals in three different states and found USA and came here and they saved him. Collins' case is unique. He was born at 22 weeks. Most hospitals consider nearly 24 weeks as the smallest children they will take. In, in saving these premature babies that they have been pushing that limit. Dr. Omja says USA's dedication to taking on extremely difficult cases made him rethink medicine. If you're saving babies who are that premature, you have to have a set of protocols which are, which are totally uh, not, uh, which are totally new. That was a totally alien concept to me, even after being a physician for almost 10 years. According to the National Institutes of Health, the survival rate for babies born at 22 weeks is around 23 percent. If we had an hour with our son and got to actually see him breathe, that was better than nothing. At USA, they claim a survival rate of 70 percent for 22 weekers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Most babies, while not 22 weeks old, still need a lot of care. I feel like that was just destiny and just a God thing for us to, to be here. I feel like everything just kind of lined up for us to be in the right place for him, and I'm, I'm so thankful. Amy Hyde's son Trenton was born at 26 weeks. They have greater survival rates than children born earlier. The staff at the NICU offering a helping hand all along the way, training parents for the medical challenges they may have at home. Seeing the light bulb go off with the parent, that they can do it and that they, they're not afraid anymore, that's probably one of the best moments that I've seen as a nurse. A little bit of trepidation may always be part of the process. Cullen Potter, who graduated from the NICU over the summer, was readmitted shortly before Hurricane Michael and was still there this week. You have a miracle in your hands and every day's, you know, been precious with them. They work to days like this past weekend, the NICU reunion, where dozens of families gather with their healthy kids to talk about those touch-and-go days after birth. Chad Petrie, WKRG News 5. <laughs>